Hi everyone, Miss Jean here. In our last episode of our mini adventure series called Helping Hands, Peabody, Logan, and Jake went to the hospital to visit Mrs. Amos. Mrs. Amos is a new neighbor who was injured when a tree fell on her house during a terrible storm. Mrs. Amos's house badly needs repair, and Jake promised they would find a way to help. Well, this morning, Jake and Natasha are hurrying toward Discovery Mountain Academy for an event that could be the answer to everyone's prayers. Let's join them now and see what happens in today's concluding episode called Kindness Overflows. Jake, we're really late. I can't believe you overslept on a day like this. Well, at least you texted me until I woke up, Natasha. Yeah, it only took about 27 tries. No, I guess I stayed up too late last night making phone calls. Come on, let's hurry. Just wanted to make sure that people knew about the school fair today so we can raise enough money to help Mrs. Amos. I know, Jake. Well, however it comes out, you gave it your all. I'm proud of you. You are? Of course. And I think having a fair was a great idea. Yeah, as long as enough people show up. You know, it's going to take thousands of dollars to fix her house. Jake, you did your best, and I'm sure it'll help. Come on, let's walk faster, Natasha. Okay, I'll race you to the Academy parking lot. Hey, not fair! You always win! (sighs) Look, Jake, there are so many people here. Yeah! (sighs) And look at all the students. Your chapel talk really must have inspired them. (sighs) I guess so. How did that verse go? But do not forget to do good and to share. Yeah, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Well, whatever you said, I think God really used it to touch people's hearts. Natasha, this is fantastic. Logan, Harold, and even Hugo are selling baked goods. Oh, and even the air smells so good. Mmm, yum, you're right, Jake. And look, Yumi and Piper have an arts and crafts table set up. And so does Mrs. Lewis. The whole school is out here. Look at these paintings. Oh, and those drawings and sculptures. Needlework and pottery, tons of other creative things. The entire town is here. This fair is perfecto. It is. I think I need to do some early Christmas shopping. Oh, and I'm so thankful that this fall weather is so perfect. The sun is shining. (sighs) Yes, indeedy. We should be able to collect lots of donations to help Mrs. Amos. I hope so, poor lady. You know, these are super talented kids. Let's check out the arts and crafts and the baked goods and the... I wish I could, but I gotta go work at the donations table. So see you later, Jake. Okay. Oh, hi, Logan. I had no idea you're such an artist. Did you really paint that? Yeah, I did. Thanks, Chaplain Jake. Oh, Ivy, look at you helping Logan. Yep, she's a good little helper. I'm going to miss her when she goes to live with Mrs. Amos. Well, she seems happy with you for now. You really have got some great paintings. You think so? Yeah. I especially like this one of the tiger. Oh, and I love your sculpture. Uh, what sculpture? Uh, This one. It looks so realistic. It's incredible. How did you ever... Ouch! It bit me. Um, that's not a sculpture, Chaplain Jake. That's Caleb's pet lizard, Chomper. Well, that's a perfect name. Ow! (laughs) Sorry. Hope you sell lots. Now just wait a minute. Oh, what is that smell? Later, Gator. I've got to follow my nose. (laughs) Bye, Chaplain Jake. Everything looks so tasty. (sighs) Hey, Brianna. These delicious smells are really drawing a crowd. They sure are, Chaplain Jake. I've been busy all morning. Did you make these yourself? Well, I had a little help from my Aunt Michelle. Oh, these great-looking bars. Ooh, it looks like strawberry, my favorite. Can I try one? Uh, sure. Ah, smells so good. Ugh, booey. I thought it was a cookie bar. What is that? Um, no, Chaplain Jake. It's homemade soap. That is false advertising. It smells like fruit. (laughs) Well, true. Uh, Well, anyway, I'll buy it. Uh, Or what's left of it. 
Thanks, Chaplain Jake. I'm sorry you thought it was a cookie bar. Ah, uh, no worries. Actually, it tastes pretty good for soap. <laughs> Aunt Michelle has your favorite trail mix brownies at the table right over there. That's so sweet. Thanks for the tip. Oh, and thanks for helping out today. Hope you get lots of sales. Nice work, girls. Those cakes look splendiferous. And the homemade banana bread? <laughs> it makes my mouth water. Good work on the pottery, boys. Save a mug for me. Jake, Jake, you'll never guess. What is it, Natasha? I've only been at the donation table for a few minutes, and, well... Yeah, what? We've already taken in more than $3,800. Get out of here. Are you serious? Absolutely. If it keeps up, maybe we'll even have enough to help with Mrs. Amos' hospital bills. Are you sure we raised that much? We counted twice. A couple of people dropped off some really generous checks, and customers keep pouring in. Oh, uh, that's Jake. <sighs> You're not crying, are you? Uh, who, me? <laughs> what makes you say that? Uh, I don't know. You just sniffled, and there's moisture glistening in your eyes. Oh, um, uh, allergies. There's lots of dust in the air, too. Uh-huh. Come on, Jake. Admit it. You mean admit that it's heartwarming to see so many people coming together to help a neighbor in need? Someone who most of them have never met. <laughs> now you're making me cry. Yeah, but they're happy tears. They sure are, Jake. They definitely are. Oh, Natasha. Yes, Jake? Mrs. Amos promised to bake us a blueberry pie if we could help her. I wonder if she takes requests. I mean, I like blueberry, but I also like boysenberry, raspberry, blackberry, strawberry's good, and... Oh, come on, Jake. Let's come enjoy the fair. Wow, I'm so happy that the school fair was such a success and that everyone joined forces to help out a neighbor in need. Now, did you catch the Bible verse that Jake shared with the students at Discovery Mountain Academy? It's found in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 16, and it says this, But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. You know, Jesus is honored when we pay attention to the needs of others and look for ways to help them by sharing what we have. That's the way He lived on this earth, and with His help, it's something we can practice every day. Jake and the others weathered a terrible storm. They helped a person in need and truly rallied around a new neighbor. I'm glad that Mrs. Amos and her new kitten, Ivy, are going to be able to stay in Discovery Mountain. With neighbors like these, who could ever want to live anywhere else? I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to a mini-adventure in Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com to listen to more minis and full episodes on demand. Today's episode, Kindness Overflows, and this four-part mini-season called Helping Hands was written by Lori Lyon. 